Well, what's up you guys? It was really, really good. You know what? I feel like now that I'm a married woman, I no longer want to do that intro. So we're starting a new chapter in my life. We're starting everything new. I'm not doing that intro anymore. I'm just gonna go right into the video. Hello everybody, welcome back. I don't want to say welcome back either. Hello everybody, it's me, Stacy. That's it. We're starting off strong. We're gonna be cleaning. It is my first vlog as an officially married woman. Things feel different, they do, but not in a way in which you would have expected. Like, I don't feel different as in like, oh my God, I feel like I'm a changed woman. It feels more different like in a way that I feel like I accomplished something major, you know? Like, it feels like I accomplished a big life goal and I can kind of be like, like that felt good. I do have to watch out for myself sometimes because I'm such like an overachiever and I'm such like a goal oriented person that once I accomplish something, I'm like, okay, what's next? But I don't like being like that because sometimes it's good to like stop and smell the roses. It's good to like stop and like enjoy the moment. So that's what I'm trying to do with my brand new marriage. As a married woman, can you believe I still have to do laundry? <laughs> If anything, I feel like I do more laundry now than I did in the past. Today's like our first normal day after being in like wedding bliss. Everybody kind of took last week off. If you guys didn't notice, we got married on a Wednesday. So everybody took like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And today's actually like the first day where like I'm able to spend time by myself at the house and stuff. I don't know about you guys, but like I love being on my own. Like not saying like I don't love the people around me, like my husband and my parents and stuff. But I genuinely like, I enjoy having me time and I enjoy having like a space where I could do whatever I want. And whenever I'm with Danny, like get us or no, even though like he's not asking anything of me, I'm always kind of like, okay, I have to make sure he's good. Like make sure he doesn't need anything. Like I feel like when I'm with Denny, I need to constantly feel like checking in for with him. Like, oh, you're good. Do you need anything and stuff? And maybe it's just because we're like, Still in the beginning phases of living together but when i'm by myself i i feel like i get to actually relax get us on being on wedding bliss um definitely back me up in a little bit of things that i needed to do like yeah we've been up keeping the house and like we've been keeping it clean and stuff but it hasn't been like as as strict as i normally would i would say but more than anything it's our first vlog back after the marriage now that I have the laundry going, we're gonna start the next step on my to-do list, which I feel pretty confident in my ability to work out, but I'm gonna be super honest with you guys. I am so over the gym. Like the gym just feels like so dreadful. I used to be so in love with it and I used to be able to work out every day. And something about like going and lifting super heavy, like it just uh, does, it just does not make my heart excited. It does not make me want to be there. On my For You page on TikTok, a lot of people have been talking about Pilates. Girl, back when I used to do CrossFit, I used to think Pilates used to be like so easy and stuff. And I've actually never done it before. So I looked up Pilates places around my house. And did you guys know that Pilates membership is literally like $200? Yeah, we're not doing all that. I decided I'm gonna do what any other person would do. And I looked up Pilates workouts on YouTube and to just like get some exercise in, see how I feel. Maybe this is gonna be like the hardest workout of my life. I have no idea. I've never done Pilates before, but it is something that I wanna do. Um, also you guys, can I just mention, let me keep it really real with you. I've been breaking out so much and I genuinely don't understand why. Like I had already cleared out my acne and I don't know if it's the stressor of the wedding or what, but like, look, oh my goodness. I hope it clears out like, because I'm not gonna be as stressed because of the wedding, but I just feel like whew, I need to just like take a breather. Honestly, I feel like ever since my grandma passed in February, I've been like, going 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 like just trying to catch up with myself and i'm not gonna lie the wedding as fun as it was like it was really stressful to think like i wanted everything to come out okay and like everything came out perfect but now i feel like i can finally give myself some time to breathe and kind of just live like a softer more go with the flow kind of vibe if you keep going at 100 miles an hour eventually you're gonna burn out and i don't want to burn out so Let's do some Pilates, yes, please. Let's do some Pilates. 
And yeah, let's see what Pilates is about. Hopefully it's an easy workout for me, but I'm gonna put some music for you. You enjoy, you relax. Let's get started. goodness okay let me tell you so that was 25 minutes and I burned a total of 149 calories I was talking to Jenny lately and with everything going on and everything that was going on like the wedding and everything on top of like my everyday things I realized that like I was always trying to be like go 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 I can do it all I can do everything like it doesn't matter like just keep piling onto my plate and maybe when I was younger I was able to do that because I didn't have other priorities but now that like I'm a wife and I have a home to take care of and like my dogs are still here like now that all these things are going on I feel like kind of think about it like in your day right we have 24 hours in a day and whatever you decide to give time to you're taking time away from something else so for example if you decide to spend two hours in the gym you're taking two hours away that you are at home with your kids or working or etc even though both things are equally important before i used to think like yeah i can be like a super boss babe entrepreneur millionaire who can do it all and i can also be the best partner i possibly can and i can also be the best daughter and i can also be the best sister and everything and like i was just expecting so much excellence from myself that i feel like i was putting too much pressure on me when in reality like if i think about it like now the fact that like we have this home and that i have like the responsibilities of a homemaker and if we start to think about like okay we're gonna add kids into the mix we still only have those 24 hours in a day i had to just make sure that i was not trying to do it all at once because if you try to do it all you're gonna burn out like inevitably you're gonna burn out and you are gonna suffer the consequences of that and that's when people start to get sick that's when people are that's when people start to have me mental breakdowns and things like that so for the sake of my mental health and of keeping myself sane, I just have decided to live like a more chill life, you know? Like I don't wanna be in a rush. Like I don't have to accomplish grand, enormous things. Like I feel like when I was in my 20s, I wanted those big things. Now I just want happiness, comfort, love. I want to spend time with my family. I wanna spend time with you guys. Like I am at a point where like I don't need, I don't need huge things. I just want peace happiness and love and i think those are the things that truly matter this is the situation we have going on right now i ended up getting denny and i some nightstands that look like this this is a sticker from ikea if any of you guys want to take a picture of it in case you end up liking them personally you guys i love building furniture i feel like it's kind of like a puzzle like you could take your time as if i didn't have enough things to do but i'm gonna try to build one of them to see how i do because i am quite bob the builder myself and if it's too hard i'm just gonna have my husband do the other one or if i just give up halfway because it's too much i decided it was finally time to get us some nightstands i just went to ikea they were like 150 bucks each so they were quite pricey there are more affordable ones but i also put oh my god you guys are gonna love it hold on let me move my purse i ended up putting this old desk of mine in the entrance so this is gonna be our new like come in and drop your purse off area 
And look at the super cute pictures that I ended up decorating it with. We have the groom, Mr. and Mrs., the beautiful bride, that's me. Oh, and kisses. I feel like now that we're officially married and I have more time to just like kind of breathe, I can focus on making my house a home once more. So let's try to build this IKEA furniture. Let's like put some TV, let's put some music for you. Let's see how hard it is. As you can tell, I'm in like nesting mode, making my house beautiful and making sure that everything looks so well put together. Oh my god you guys so here i am building the shelf but look it oh my god la comadre posted a video about our wedding and i just have been loving seeing all the videos i know amy posted one la comadre posted one i'm seeing all the different points of view from the wedding and i'm just so honored that everybody got to go to the wedding and every time i see the videos it's like i get to relive it over and over again Thank you to everybody who came and made me feel so special. Oh my God, I loved it. I wish I could live that day over and over and over and over and over again. Like I wish I could just be stuck in it over and over and over again because I would have so much fun. I love that day. Okay, so like no two days in my life are the same. <laughs> like I generally thought I was gonna have like a whatever day today and I had to call 911. If you're wondering why, don't freak out. Basically, I went out right now to let the dogs out in the backyard and I see you guys, I see that there's a wire hanging from like the electrical wires and it's directly hitting onto my backyard and I was like, okay, that seems like it's not right, but I didn't think it was gonna be an emergency. And so then I call the, the light company and I'm like, oh, this is happening, you know, I just thought they were gonna send somebody. And he's like, no, we need to hang up the phone right now and you need to call 911 because they're gonna go block off the area because the, if the wire is touching even grass, it has enough current to literally a person or an animal so as soon as he said that i was like you guys get in here right now and then the scary thing is it's just like it's really windy so there's another wire going into my neighbor's house and then another wire going into a third house so i have to call 911 i don't know what they're going to tell me i'm kind of scared i just wanted to film it because i'm not used to it 911, what is your emergency? Hi, I'm calling because I just got off the phone with the electrical company and I have a wire touching from the wire line to my backyard. There's also a wire going into um, my two neighbors' backyard. And this is in the backyard area? Yeah. Okay. Did you lose power at all to your house? No, everything's the same. Okay, okay, just keep everyone out of the backyard. They'll be there shortly. Okay, thank you. Baby. Oh my god, not Denny hearing me through the cameras. And that's a metiche. I know, it's because I was on the phone with 911. Let me call you regular. Hey, so I took the dogs out right now, and there's a cable hanging from the from the electrical lines to the backyard. Look guys, those are the wires I was talking about. You see them right there, the three wires hanging? Those are the wires. Okay, false alarm. Gracias a Dios. It was just the cable line. He explained to me that the highest cables are the electric lines and then anything under it's like internet, cable, etc. So thankfully it was a cable line. Way better to be safe than sorry. And I didn't think it was gonna need me to call 911 because I'm sure they're like way busier with other things. But yeah, ya les hablamos, todo está bien. And now we can continue on about our day. That was like, a, I was like, no mames, por favor, can I get a day off, please? Now that we're finally in my car, we actually came to CVS because we're picking up my Mother's Day gift, woo! Okay, so I try to give my mom something every year that is meaningful and I feel like she's gonna love, like I love her. And this year I actually decided to print her a picture from my wedding. Oh my goodness, you guys. I haven't shown you guys the pictures from the wedding, but they're so beautiful. I actually 
actually ended up posting this one on my Instagram for Mother's Day. And when my mom saw it and when we were taking this picture, she was like, oh my God, I just know this is going to be an amazing picture. So this is what the picture looks like. She was putting on and lacing the dress up for me. And then Alyssa, the photographer, went around the corner and like snapped this shot. I didn't know what it was going to look like, but I trust Alyssa with my eyes closed. She is an amazing photographer. And this picture proves it. I've actually already gifted my mom a picture of us that she has in her living room. So I'm like the only child that she has pictures with, but only because I'm the only person that goes out of her way to print them for her. So <laughs> I don't know if it's weird that I am like gifting her pictures of us, but she loves it. I love it and we love it together. Let's go pick up the picture. I had come on I'm so excited. That was like the fast the fastest pickup of my life. We're gonna open it. We're gonna see what it looks like. I told the girls I was there for a canvas pickup and they're like, oh my god, it's a beautiful picture. And I was like, oh my god, you guys think it's beautiful? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. So let's see what it looks like. Um apparently this is the biggest canvas they print here. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see it. I wish I could like push you guys back more. Wow, how beautiful does this look? Oh my goodness, this looks so pretty. It literally feels like a painting. Oh my God, it feels like a painting. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a cute Mother's Day gift? Okay, I would cry if my daughter gifted me something like this. So hopefully my mom loves it as much as I do. We're also gonna go get her a Mother's Day card. <sighs> Cause she's an amazing mom, you guys. She really is. I love my mom. I love giving gifts. If you haven't noticed by all my vlogs, I love giving gifts. It is my SHIT. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I got at Target. It was like a super quick run. So there was still this Mother's Day wrapping paper, which is so cute and I absolutely loved it. I got myself some headbands to like put my hair away when I'm like washing my face and stuff. Le compré este moñito para ponerle, which it was really, really cute. This is by the brand name Minted. And it says, every good thing about the person I have become, every good thing about the person I'll be in the future, is all because of the mom you have always been. And then on the inside it says, happy Mother's Day with love and gratitude, which honestly I feel like is so fitting for my mom because she is such a huge influence on the person that I am and she will always be that for me. Oh my God, and Target, ya, ya tienen las, las tarjetas para papas. Like literally the Father's Day cards are already out. So you already know I had to get my dad one because I'm so grateful to God that he's spending this Father's Day with us because girl, the way it was looking, it was not looking very promising. And I mean, it's not even guaranteed that he's gonna spend Father's Day with us, but we're just channeling that energy. So my dad's card says, dad, you've given me so much over the years, support, encouragement, and arms to run to, advice, laughter, and someone to share stories with. Most of all, you've given me your time, your energy, and your love. You're a great dad, and I'm so lucky that I get to wish you a happy Father's Day. How perfect is this? Like, I'm so lucky that I get to wish you a happy Father's Day. Yes, yes, girl. Not every year am I gonna get to do that, and I'm grateful that this year I do. Here's my mom's Mother's Day gift. I feel like it looks really, really cute. Hopefully she loves it. We're gonna go drop it off at her house right now. We're also gonna go visit my dad and yeah update on the nightstands i kind of almost finished it but it took me like 80 hours so this is what it looks like next to my bed i told jenny that i was tired so if he can help me build the cajones and he said yes so when when denny gets home today he's gonna build the cajones for me but it looks kind of cute i almost wish my bed was our bed was a little bit higher so it could be the same, but I feel like once that I put like a lamp here or something, then it's going to start to look really cute, really put together. And I feel like it's going to be like done, you know, I'm just really excited to have a nightstand because have I ever had a nightstand in my life? I don't know if I have, I think I have, but anyway, I'm excited to have it because I feel like I'm going to be able to put my books here and like a lamp and it's going to be like an experience for now though my papa ya me habló and he wants us to go to his house to take him some cigarettes so we gotta go visit my father